everyone. Um, I wanted to share with you how to how to make this wonderful cough buster rub that has some amazing essential oils in there for when your family is, you know, having some pressure in their chest or they maybe feel like the cold is settling in their chest or has a terrible cough or even for my daughter who um, has respiratory issues and just needs extra support when she's feeling um, a little more pressure than normal. So, um, if you don't already have this amazing book, The Essential Life Book, this is where you want to start because this is full, packed full of information and recipes and roller bottle recipes and cleaning recipes and everything you can imagine. Um, and if you turn to the respiratory section in this book, you're going to have this recipe ready on hand. So um, it's called the Cough Buster Rub. I'm going to kind of zoom in here if I can so you can kind of see the recipe um, there. Kind of hard to see. Um, it says three quarter cups of coconut oil, three quarter cups of fractionated coconut oil, um, and four tablespoons of beeswax. So what I've done here is I've made my own double broiler. Um, I have a little pot um, on top here. Um, the bottom pot has um, some water in there, so it's been warming up for a little while to get it heated. Um, you want to use a double broiler or make your own like this. Sometimes I'll even take a glass one and set it on top there. Perfect for um, melting our good oils here. So this is three quarter cups of um, just regular coconut oil. Um, I get the organic. Um, it doesn't need to be unrefined since we're just making a lotion. Um, it's a little bit more expensive that way. So you can just get a regular refined one. That's no problem because we're going to be heating it up anyways and breaking it down. Um, when you're cooking, you know, you want to get an unrefined so that you're getting all the health benefits of that coconut oil. All right, so we're going to let that kind of melt here. And then we're going to add our... Now, this said um, fractionated coconut oil, um, which is a carrier oil, um, stays liquid form. This just happens to be grapeseed oil because I don't have three quarter cup of my um, of my fractionated coconut oil at the moment. Um, and so you can use almond oil, sweet almond oil. You can use apricot oil. Apricot seed oil is pretty good. Um, I just happen to have grapeseed on hand, so that's the one I'm going to pop in here. Um, it just really needs a carrier base to keep it from getting too hard um, with the coconut oil. So I'm going to dump that in here. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to let that warm up. Now, let's talk about beeswax. We need four tablespoons of beeswax. Um, I get mine on Amazon. It seems to be the best price. And um, this is organic beeswax, and you can get yellow or white. Learn from my mistake, always go white. Whether you're using it for a lip balm or um, a lotion, you don't want that yellow to like stain your clothes. Um, first time I made deodorant, <laughs> used the yellow beeswax, and all my stuff got stained yellow. So, um, now I only buy white. So, um, you can go to a local bee farmer too. Um, and get these, but here's some beadlets. Uh, real simple, we're gonna add in four tablespoons. Now, so what does the beeswax do? So the beeswax is going to give it a little bit of um, shape and form. All right, there's four. This gives it a little bit of a form. Now I'm gonna show you what the finished thing looks like here. You can see it's it's kind of hard, um, but as it you know gets on your skin, it's a very soft. Think of like a Vicks vapor rub, only maybe a little bit thicker because the beeswax. Okay, so um, oil. So we're gonna let this melt, and when it is fully melted, we're going to remove it from the heat, and we're gonna add in um, vitamin E oil. Now it uses four or excuse me two tablespoons of vitamin E oil. Since I'm just doing a chest rub, I'm gonna use a cheaper brand of vitamin E oil. If I was making more of a, sorry, I thought I had my other one right here. If I was making something more for my skin, like for my face or something I was going to be um, yeah, needing like 
good face cream, I would use a quality vitamin E oil. But this is just going on the chest. Um, the vitamin E oil in this particular recipe is simply to um, preserve it so that it doesn't go bad or rancid. So vitamin E oil is a great one to add to your hand sanitizer to again, keep it from going um, rancid or bad. Okay, so um, what oils go in this recipe? So let me tell you that you can, if you just have Breathe on hand, you can totally do this with just Breathe and a couple other oils. So I'm gonna just kinda tell you what you can do here um, if you're limited on your oil choices. However, um, you can see here, if I remove the Breathe, this is how many oils it takes to make this particular cough buster rub. And let me tell you why each one is present. So peppermint, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon, and cardamom all open up airways. Um, frankincense helps all the other oils to work well together and helps to calm the chest and just really penetrate and of course build your immune system. Basil, lime, and marjoram are more for um, being expectorants and getting everything out of your chest and um, just great, great properties in um, supporting your overall wellness. So if you're limited in oils, um, this is what I would do. Um, peppermint, eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon, and cardamom are all in breathe, okay? So if that would kind of eliminate half these oils, and I would add in at least basil, lime, and frankincense if you can add the marjoram. So those four plus breathe would be a perfect blend. It does use a lot of oils and it makes quite a bit. Um, you know, we're gonna be using, we're gonna be making over two cups. So I just get a plain empty glass jar. This used to be um, a cherry jar, just reused it. Um, I do a big jar where I put all of it in there. Um, and then I have a littler jar that's about this size. Um, that I put in and I just keep refilling it so that way a huge jar isn't sitting out everywhere. Um, and that way I have some always on hand. So, great way to use for cough busting rub. Um, if you're dealing with different cough issues or needing some extra support, um, I really wanna show you a great way to use your breathe oil very quickly, very effectively. So whether you're dealing with a cough or cold or dealing with allergies, um, you're gonna want one of these little bad boys on hand, okay? Great way to use your Breathe Essential Oil. Um, this is um, an essential oil inhaler, okay? Essential oil inhaler. And um, what you do is you're gonna take a few drops of your Breathe and drop it right on there. Then you're gonna drop the um, wick down in there and then pop the end on. And then you're going to open it up you're going to inhale a couple times, help open airways, great support for using your breathe, as well as our breathe vapor stick. If you don't really have a huge cold or a huge cough, your breathe vapor stick is gonna do all the necessary things that your body's needing without going through all the trouble of maybe making a cough buster rub. This is kind of like, you know, this wasn't, doing the trick. This is like the big, big cheese, right? <laughs> so, um, so let me remind you how you'd finish up here. Let me just take you over here. Okay. So we're going to melt this down and, um, you can kind of see it's, it's almost there. The beeswax is kind of separating here. Um, I'll kind of stir it around and then we're going to remove it from the heat. We're gonna add our two tablespoons of vitamin E oil, and then we're going to add all of the essential oils. Um, in this particular recipe, it uses quite a bit, but it's highly diluted. So it's great for grandmas and grandpas. <laughs> um, it's great for your kiddos. So um, it has 80 drops of basil, frank, lime, and marjoram. And then it has 30 drops of peppermint, 10 drops of eucalyptus, eucalyptus rosemary, and lemon and then it has five drops of cardamom. So again, a lot of oils, but um, this is gonna last you a really long time, and it's already ready to go, which is awesome. So we're removing it from the heat, um, and we're putting in that vitamin E oil to help preserve it, and then adding the essential oils, and um, 
then we're gonna let it cool down. We're gonna put it, you don't want it completely cool when you put it in the jar, um, otherwise it'll be too solid. And then you're just gonna rub it on your test as needed. And my daughter will sometimes put it on her feet. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful and hope you have a great day.